Good morning folks, how are you? This is Sai here from Trin Fishing Crew. Hope all is well and um, I hope everybody is doing well in these trial times during the pandemic, you know. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about um, banking fishing, alright, just a little bit of tips and um, what I do, how I go about doing it when I'm going banking. So first of all, um, I grew up fishing with caster, so I use caster when I bank it, all right? Um, majority of the times I would use casters. Now, using caster over a period of time, especially in deeper water, would tend to give you a little stress on your hands, fingers, that kind of thing. So because we go in and over 400 foot of water, most of the times now if you go in any lot, I would fish with a, a electric reel. All right, so I fish with this as well, but I fish with electric reel, so I mix it up. If, if it's under 300 feet, I always use caster, under 350, 300, I use caster. All right, um, I tend to stick around between 100 pound and 150 range. All right, in case you hook a bigger fish, because sometimes you go for salmon, you stick a big red fish, a big ancho, a big shark or something, you, you want to have that. That, that 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 strain so you could fight the fish all right and you want to make sure you have enough line so in our tackle store our tackle store training fishing crew tackle store i sell casters with line have 500 feet this is 500 feet of line all right we do that so it make life easier so sometimes if you lose a little bit of line you still have some so you know 500 feet will work well in normal areas like in patos and even shallower areas in, or even mediocre areas in the Gulf um, and in the north you could use this which is 500 feet. Um, I also have casters with over 600 feet because sometimes people fish in 400 feet and you need a little bit of extra line so I normally put like the 150 pound test with 600 to 700 feet of line. Most of the time, they would have like, let me say, average of 650 feet. So your fish comfortable, all right? So talking about lines, um, I the different sizes of sinkers I would use. This is this is a 16 ounce, a 24 ounce, and a 32 ounce, which is two pound. A 16 ounce is one pound, and there's one and a half pound, all right? Sometimes we go up to three pounds depending on the moon. So Fishing first quarter and last quarter, two to three days before the moon, I find it's very good to fish. I would use the lighter sinkers. Then two to three days, new moon, full moon, I fish the heavier sinkers because of the current. Um, when it's around new moon, I tend to stick more in a sheltered areas, more like, like outside Macri, that kind of area where you wouldn't feel the blunt of the current. If you fish in the Gulf around the new moon, it would be very strong. Full moon, I like to fish behind Shaka Shakari because um, I fish for the mutton snapper in that area and um, they like to bite on that, on that, on that full moon. All right. Um, quarter moon, I love it in Patos. Catch a lot of nice salmon and even if you go in, you know, for redfish, the current is nice, you'll feel the fish and um, you could enjoy yourself fishing, you know. So there's different areas depending on what you're trying to target. All right, I'm just giving you a little, uh, just a short clip here, try not to go too long. But um, yeah, so the one pound, two pound, 24 ounce, caster, 100 pound test, 150 pound test, 400 feet, 600 feet, right? Um, right, so let's go on to the type of hooks that I use. Now, because the fish is in that depth, I prefer to use a circle hook. Because when, they, when you hook your fish, they tend not to come out of your hook. Normally when you use like the J hook, they it come out. So I use the this is the tuna hook. You see the offset on it. When you stick something with this, it can't come out. So I would use like from 9 0. This is a 10 0, 9 0, 10 0, and 11 0. So when I fish any red fish and the group, I'll use the 11 0 for fishing part two. So I'll use the 9 0 and 10 0. Alright? I'll use the barrel swivel. And I like to use these, these beads. You see these beads? You see the colors. These beads make a big difference, I find. Because if fish, you know, down there will be dark. 
these glow in the dark, some of these glow in the dark, the fish normally have an attraction for it, or you could use the, 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 the squids on the end of your hook, like the smaller ones, the squids. Yeah, it makes a difference. Sometimes people even put on a little fish bites. They say they, they get a lot of action with fish bites. A, lot. a customer came and told me that in the north he go and he used fish bites and the fish bite works pretty well. So um, a lot of people use the fish bites. So sometimes if fish bites out here, you be able to have a little bit of fish bite in it. You know, it might keep it a little longer. But I, when I use Bonito, it's pretty comfortable. So the bait I use is more Joshua and Bonito. If I'm looking for red fish, definitely Bonito. And, um, well, Bonito catches everything, but it stays long when you hook. So if some small fish come and bite, 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 bite a bit, at least when using Bonito, you have a better chance because it stays in your hook longer. All right? So, we talk a little about the moon, two to three days before the moon, first quarter, last quarter. I like the gulf fishing, good. Um, full moon, I like to fish behind Shaka Shakari for the mutton snappers. Now, if you're fishing for mutton snapper, you can't use the normal banking line, which is the up and down line. You have to use a, a three way swivel, all right? And you have to use your main line, has to be around, I would say, like around 50 feet average with your hook. And then you have your main line with your uh, with your main line here. You have the hook here, and then you would have your sinker here. Right? I'll show you guys that more in detail, but I use a tree here, and that's how I catch a mutton snapper. Right? Because they bite higher up. They would bite, they would come out, they would bite more in around reef rock areas, reef areas, and they would they would they would raise off the ground and feed. Alright. Um so with mutton snappers, they you normally take the, the tree way. Right, the, you wouldn't really get them on the bottom as much. You would get maybe you'll get one or two, but but if you're looking for them, you're you to fish them a little higher up. All right, um, now I always talk about the banking rig. Um, yes, obviously, I have a tackle stone, yes, I want sales, but at the end of the day, I mean, if you want to do your own thing, you can. You get a crimper, you get a, you get the tools, and you make it. But if you want to make live easier, I mean, we make it for you. So, this is the banking rig here. I would have my tree, tree way set up on it. And um, I normally, as I said, I use the beads. So you have my red beads here. And, well, it, it's, I make it pretty long, right? For transparency purposes, when, when, when I fish biting the line, you wouldn't see like a multicolor line or whatever color line that you're using, a main line and the swivel. So they would normally just see the three hooks because the swivel will be way up. So I make it in a kind of way where it would make life easier for you. And it's like, well, it's only $100 and it works well. All right, so the banking rig works pretty well. I use three hooks average. All right, if I go in patos, fishing for salmon, I would, I would, um, I would probably put a little more. It all depends, but three hooks average. Everybody is comfortable with that. Okay, and the circle hooks that I use is the, as I said, is the ten o, eleven o, and the nine o. Um, the circle. Some people like to use the black hooks as well. It's a little bit cheaper, but I find sometimes a big fish take it to straighten out. All right, um, the next thing I normally do uh, when I go in fishing, like if I put in my phone charger, have my portable charger, having a portable charger is important. You don't want your battery to die down. Now, because I use our app to find my spots, I use Navi on it to find certain fishing spots that I mark. Or if I'm looking for a far, or if I'm looking for, you know, certain areas, I would use and that. That does normally tend to burn your battery. You know? All right, your battery will kind of go fast. So normally I would use that so put it i have a container in case it didn't fall anything it wouldn't wet your charger your portable your cable or have a phone here i might have a sandwich in here or something you know so a container i used to to keep everything away from that water no normally when i fish in, i use a, a bucket and i have my casters and all my gear i'm going fishing this morning it's true o'clock and i'll do this video but anyways i use a bucket with a cover i mean everybody have their pot yeah, so the bucket is pretty comfortable and um, it's cost effective. You can get a bucket in a grocery. You just ask for a pigtail bucket. It might be about $20 for it. Or if you're going hard, you pay $30 for it. To clean it and you use it, all right? Um, I don't want to bore you out too much and talk too much. So what I will do, I next video I do, I will I will do some rig up. So I'll rig up like a, the, what we call a fling back line and show you how to do it. I'll, I'll rig up on the banking line to show you. Um, if you want to use like nuts to use the banking line, you could do that. But I prefer the crimps. It's you're more, you're a lot more safer and more comfortable in case something big pull your line. You know, the, 
when you crimp, when you have a when you have something crimp there is a lot much it's much stronger you know it can't slip out or not could slip out so um i'll give you a more detail with respect to how to rig up the lines um in another video um so anyways i did some fishing over the weekend it was it was a nice weekend you know we caught some nice redfish some salmon um I carried out a few customers, they enjoyed it, so I, and also I, I did some fishing with Kalpoos the day before yesterday, alright, and um, it, we had a really good time, so I hope you enjoy uh, the video, and please don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, and I'm hoping to do a lot more um, helpful videos and, 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 and the little knowledge I have to share with you guys, so I hope you enjoy it. And um, yeah, I'm going to do some fishing today. It's about a lot to tree now, so I'm going to drink my coffee and I'm going to head out. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And um, if you have any questions, please put it in the comment section below. I'll try to answer you. And don't forget to like my page on Facebook, Trini Fishing Group. And if you want to go out with us, guys, it's not a problem. I have a few friends that we go out with who's captains and, you know, we're comfortable boats, mother boat, a pair of rugs. So we call the different people. If you want to go with us, you could come out. You could always come onto our WhatsApp group as well. My number is six eight eight nine zero nine five. And um, yeah, come and join us. All right, guys. So hope you have a great day today, and um, look out for our next video soon. Take care. Bye. Jenny Fish and Crew out. All right, morning, guys. It's early morning tide. I'm cruising. Gotta look for some redfish and grouper. God, please bless us today. So it's four o'clock. Yeah, Saturday morning and we're out on a boat. So guys, wish us luck. Let's see if we could catch some fish today. Later's poop. Alright guys, so we're here this morning. It's half past four. Well, 25 past four and it's time to roll. Guys, and the trees are cold. Yeah, they come with the Kitchen, I have everything here. Yeah. Alright, guys, so we just luck this morning. We're gonna look for some fish. Take a little relax, alright? Yeah, fellas, we didn't leave, we didn't leave. First drop, first drop. Small leader, okay, bigger just now. See what's coming up here? I'm trying to record the multitask. You got to hold it first?
Morning guys, so we went we now with Kalpo. So we have procedures and protocols. Anybody coming? Temperature check. Sanitize and you have to sign your name. Just to make sure that everybody is on the same path. So that's the first step before we go fishing. Safety first. Fish later. I don't, I don't, I don't get a little shot to do it yeah, too, but I'll see you for yourself. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Not a whole video, I think. 
Go and see for yourself. Live, live. Was he dead today? Live. Was he dead? Was he dead? Tell him man, was he dead now? Yeah. Man, he man so far, boy. Watch me. Nice, real nice redfish. Now, ma'am. Now, I get a little picture there. And then we go there. I can only live now, people. That is how we just do it. And if I can. Nice. Guys, so, just came back with Kalpoos. We had an excellent day out. You know, we had a couple hours of fishing and we really enjoyed it. I'd like to thank Ravi for bringing us back home safely and um, taking the protocols and um, everything was really a really a, a awesome day. Just let me just give you a little glimpse of everything here. Nice to go and see. And show the for some nice salmon. So there's one cooler, the second cooler here. You have Waliak, you have the salmon, white salmon, kukru. You get some nice Waliak, salmon, kukru. It was really an enjoyable day. And don't forget, now we have the pirog. So if you want to hit a little more distance, go a little bit further out to get a little bit of, uh, I would say, bigger species of fish. These guys could carry out now. We have a more comfortable boat. You have the bimini top for a cover. So, you know, you have a good opportunity of flexing your time a little bit and, um, and, and going out there and trying to catch some bigger fish as well. And uh, for all those who can't really take the choppier water, you could go more in the shallow. So you had different options now with the new boat in town. So nice, nice. I'm very happy and thankful we have my boy here mm. and the crew. Everybody enjoy yourself. Boots. I'll leave on the boots. <laughs> All right. So guys, I'm glad you guys. Yes, I'm glad you guys had a good time. It's always fun going out with Ali, and we had a nice catch. So we'll keep you guys posted. One more sign off.